Hi, this is Sandra John and I'm a QA lead with QLogic Technologies. Today we'll be speaking about performance testing and its implications on web applications and how we can improve it. Imagine walking into a restaurant with some really good food and ambiance. Now, you've ordered something off the menu, but it's taking forever to reach your table. You would naturally be disappointed and consider leaving. Similarly, when an application, no matter how good its functionality, security or UI is, if its performance is really slow, user tends to leave and find an equivalent site with better performance. So the performance of a website is extremely critical. Let's see which are the performance parameters that are actually matters when it comes to performance testing. First one being CPU performance. So CPU performance is the number of threads that are used while uh, on your application server. Now, if the CPU performance of your application is going say beyond 80%, it is definitely alarming and it is definitely going to cause issues in your application. When your application is not handling memory allocation for its resources correctly, it is that is when you're having memory leak issues. So your application server, it holds the memory for a action even after the action is completed and does not release the memory and is not allowing it to be reused. So next up is page load time. It is self-explanatory. The amount of time taken for an application to load denotes it. However, this relies on multiple factors like the current internet, uh, internet speed, cached memory of the application browser in use, time of the day, number of users currently using the applications, to name a few. So it's wise to never rely on a single value of it, considering its average after multiple iterations to calculate it at different times of the day will help gather better values and plot its trend. So next we speak about average response time. With every application coming into test, we are dealing with a large amount of data that either comes in through database or through the API responses. So with every request that comes in, there's a response that is served. So along with the response being accurate, it needs to be quick as well. With average response time, we calculate the same. It depends on similar factors as the page load time, along with the additional factor like data source and its configuration. Next, let's speak about the response error percentage. With multiple requests hitting the server at the same time, there is a high possibility that few of the requests do not be served or there is an error that comes back in a response. So this may lead to the data being inconsistent or not being found when needed. This error percentage needs to be monitored and calculated by using the formula number of errors in a response divided by the number of responses received into 100. The lower this value is, the better the performance of the application can be considered. Next, let's speak about the application's availability. It goes without saying that an application needs to be available at all time. Depending on the concentrated areas of the users, the application's availability is a needed parameter. Most companies use this to measure uptime for service level agreements. Let's speak about count of application instances required. When an application scales up and down uh, in the cloud, it is important to know that how many servers or application instances are running. Auto scaling can help us ensure uh, your application scales uh, to meet demands and save money during off peak times. So now that we understand the performance parameters that we need to look out for, we need to speak about the types of performance testing. The first one is performance monitoring. Performance monitoring involves the monitoring of the application to see how it performs with respect to speed under the given conditions. Now, the application of this type of testing helps stakeholders to understand how the application is performing with the setup that is provided. Next is load testing. Load testing involves subjecting the application to a constantly and steadily increasing load and then monitoring the application to see how it performs under it. This helps in understanding with any gradual increase in user base or data, how the application will behave if any change or upgrades are required in the application's configuration. Stress testing of an application is a negative type of testing on the application. The application is overloaded to a point to break it. With stress testing, the application stakeholders can understand the limits of the application, thus knowing factors which make it vulnerable. Um, so now let's discuss how we can implement performance testing using various tools by discussing an example that we encountered here at QLogic. 
While working on multiple web applications, we incorporate multiple performance-based tests that help us understand the performance of the application. One such project that I was working on was related to an admin portal application that was loading data from, for all the reservations done by multiple hotel reservation systems. Now for a single data coming in, it had to be read and business logic applied to display it on the UI using various filters. Another challenge here was that this portal was used by multiple support agents at the same time for customer assistance. Now let's understand the business impact of the situation. The CPU and memory usage was high, which was causing delay in the business logic process of the code. Hence, delaying the page load time, support agents had to wait for the details of a single customer, and hence, customer queries were taking some time to be resolved, hence worrying the client. We understood that the client was looking to expand his base operation. This would mean a subsequent increase in number of customer support agents and customer data. The current architecture needed to support this increase in usage accordingly. Hence, the need for performance testing was crucial. To gather data and monitor the application for performance, we have relied on two tools, Apache JMeter and New Relic. Apache JMeter is a widely used application to simulate load, number of users to perform load testing and gather data around different performance parameters. With JMeter, we can simulate number of users, uh, request time interval to subject the application to load. Uh, designing scripts and their maintenance is also provided in JMeter, which can be tweaked and updated whenever required. Whereas New Relic is an APM tool, APM stands for Application Performance Management. It is a paid tool, but a one-stop solution to monitor every aspect of the application, be it page load, request, time consumed by database, time consumed uh, by third parties, infrastructure monitoring, monitoring to name a few. These are represented with statistical and graphical uh, representations like charts and graphs. Understanding a problem statement, we designed a test script using Apache JMeter to start recording the page load time of the application under different conditions of users. And with the help of New Relic, we were able to trace CPU and memory usage. A test environment setup was required that was an exact replica of the uh, production server. On executing the test scripts and recording data after various runs, we were able to conclude the following. Uh, current business logic was a complete server-side implementation, so until the entire page is loaded, the user could not perform any action or see any existing data. And the second one was that the current server configuration was not enough to support the heavy load of data and users accessing the application. Due to the above observation, we were able to add corrective measures by changing the business logic implementation to enable faster loading of the page and by increasing the server configuration that would be enough to support increase in number of agents. So training your QA and making them aware of performance related uh, testing and uh, helping them identify performance related issues beforehand will actually help in the health of your application. This will enable them to provide proactive solutions that will, be, uh, that will prove to be less costly for you for your application in the longer run. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back as soon as possible. Uh, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.